Hello, I'm Maria Valles, a lecturer in Universidad Politécnica de Valencia, and I'm going to introduce the concept of green infrastructure. The presentation is structured in five parts. First, I'll start explaining what green infrastructure is, its main components and its origins, and then I'll move to the concept of multifunctionality in green infrastructure context and the key benefits of green infrastructure in cities. Green infrastructure refers to the connected network of green space, both new and existing, in rural and urban areas. Understanding green space as the areas that are not built over and where the surface is not sealed. Green infrastructure can be implemented at different scales, for instance, from regional scales, like in Valencia region, or in more local scales, like this map shows in Vitoria, London, or the green infrastructure in Paris. What elements can compose the green infrastructure? First, the rural components of green infrastructure can be natural reserves or protected areas, managed semi-natural landscapes, which can be forests managed for resources or for recreational values, pasture land or agriculture land, wetlands, and rivers and their associated floodplains. With regard to the urban components of green infrastructure, we can have public parks and gardens, privately owned green spaces like domestic gardens, grounds of educational and health institutions, cemeteries and churchyards, community gardens, playgrounds, industrial and commercial premises that have kept unbuilt, street trees and the connectors between these areas like pedestrian paths, cycling trails, greenways or land left open along transport corridors. Green infrastructure is a new term but it's not a new idea. It has its roots in planning and conservation theories that started in the 19th century. First, first, it comes from the idea that linking parks and other green spaces can benefit people. And second, it comes from the belief that linking natural areas is the best way to preserve plants, animals and ecological processes. Multifunctionality is a central concept in green infrastructure. It refers first to the potential of green infrastructure to have different functions which provide a broad range of benefits to society, also called ecosystem services. Second, it refers to the idea that each green infrastructure asset can perform different functions simultaneously. For instance, this public garden in Valencia provides different functions at the same time. It provides shading, cools the air, absorbs surface runoff and provides a space for passive recreation and relaxation. Moving to the key benefits of urban green infrastructure, in other words, green infrastructure in the city, we could summarize them in four groups. First, the resilience to climate change. Vegetation, especially tree canopy, it reduces the heat island effect and reduces indoor temperatures because of the function of cooling the air and providing shading. 
On the other hand, vegetation can also act as a carbon sink. Second, the resilience to urban flooding, since vegetation can absorb water surface runoff. The, the approach where the vegetated surfaces are used for managing surface runoff is called sustainable urban drainage systems. Third benefit, supporting biodiversity. Because green space in urban environments, even if not being natural, has been proved to have high levels of biodiversity when it is a mature and well-established green space. And finally, the proximity of green areas to people, to the society, can provide a broad range of benefits for people, like improving physical exercise activities, providing a space for social encounters, for recreation and providing peacefulness and relaxation. And this was all about the introduction of green infrastructure.